Virginia, Daryl C. Hamlet, Lynchburg Fire Department. Charles C. Dog Woods, Ad Wolf Volunteer Fire Department. Terry Victor resumes the role of honor. Washington, Stephen S. Bailey, Kennewick Fire Department. Alan Dean Basso, Callitz Fire County District Number Five. Daryl W. Dabling, Hanford Fire Department. Christian D. Johnson, Okanagan County Fire District 3. David L. Lewis, Valley Regional Fire Authority. Philip Brian Oldham, Grays Harbor, Fire District 2. Darlene G. Raffleson, Tumwater, Fire Department. Kirk Dean Robinson, Bothell Fire Department. Scott Bernard Thomas, M&M Air Services of Beaumont Incorporated. Don Waller, Okanagan Fire County District 6. J. Garth Wheeler, Seattle Fire Department. West Virginia, Zachary S. Blankenship, Montcalm Volunteer Fire Department. Mark Elliott Horwich, Clover Roan Volunteer Fire Department. Russell K. Roberson, Jr., Jaeger Volunteer Fire Department. James W. Jimmy Ward, City of Logan Fire Department. Logan Andrew Young, West Virginia Air National Guard, 167th 
airlift wing. Wisconsin, Mitchell F. Lungard, Appleton Fire Department. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains to the prairie to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless America, my home, sweet home. The tolling of a bell is a long-standing tradition in the fire service, a moment to reflect and honor the sacrifice made by your loved one. Chief Tiffany Green of the Prince George's County, Maryland Fire EMS Department will share the history of this tradition. Long before there were telephones and radios in use in America, Fire departments utilized the telegraph to receive fire alarms from those once familiar red fire alarm boxes, which stood on practically every street corner of our nation's city. When a firefighter fell in the line of duty, the fire alarm office, the forerunner of today's computerized fire communication centers, would tap out a special signal, 555, over the telegraph fire alarm circuits, which went to all station houses done for the purpose of notification and as a sign of honor and respect such symbolism has been a long honored fire service tradition which still continues in some cities today we utilize these traditions as symbols of honor and respect for those who have given so much and served so well and so for those who have selfishly selflessly devoted their lives for the good of their communities and fellow citizens the bell tolls their last alarm, for they have gone home.
As our service draws to a close, there are many people to thank for helping make this weekend happen. Our partners here at the United States Fire Administration have worked tirelessly to find a way to bring us here together at this peaceful and sunny place. We thank the singers, the honor guard, pipes and drums, the family escorts, the returning fire hero families, and the staff and contractors of the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. And we must not forget the hundreds of volunteers who come together each year in Emmitsburg to offer their assistance. Their dedication to our nation's fallen firefighters is inspiring. Please remain seated as the Honor Guard, Pipes and Drums pass in review to pay their respects. Honor Guard! Hot ten! Attention. Drum Major, by your command! Pipes and drums, wings, dawning of the day. Four fours, by the right, quick, march! Forward, push! Chaplain Maggie Lawrence of the Tennessee Federation of Fire Chaplains and the Nashville Fire Department will deliver the benediction. Following the benediction, we will hear a special song, The Fallen and the Brave, by sang songwriter Dave Carroll that accompanies a video highlighting your experiences this weekend. Let us pray. 
most holy one. As we close our time together, we thank you for the opportunity to reflect and honor our loved ones. Although they're no longer in our presence, they will forever be in our hearts. For they pay the ultimate sacrifice by giving of themselves for others so selflessly. The love we have for them will be with us forever. As we depart, let us leave with peace and love for everyone and provide us with a safe journey to our individual destinations. And now, to the one who is able to do far more than we could ever ask or imagine. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. There's a saying in our firehouse that everyone goes home. And we know the perils in our job every time we hear the tone. And on this day we fought a blaze, we did our job, four lives were saved. But in the end I sacrificed my home. I hear bells in the distance, pipers playing a song for me, where flags are folded in our memory. I'm going home to Emmitsburg, they'll call my name in Emmitsburg, where cheers are shed. There is peace among the embers, a lightness in the air. As I float among the members of my station in despair. For through the smoke we face our fears, the lives we save to souvenirs. I go without regret as I declare. Tears are shed and prayers are heard for the fallen and the brave. And the families that we leave behind will gather where I'll be enshrined, along with all the others, and they'll see we're not alone. And the names carved in the monument say, A song for me where flags are folded in our memory. I'm going home to Emmitsburg. They'll call my name in Emmitsburg.
Pittsburgh, where cheers are shed and prayers are heard for the fallen and the brave, and where cheers are shed and prayers are heard for the fallen. 